Today we have the Huns, Goths, Britons, and Turks versus the Persians, Chinese, Mayans, and Franks. So as you can see, this is a really big map uh, with a nice little uh, pool or little lake in the center. And I already built my first stock over here. I always try to build my first stock when I can. Uh, everyone's kind of walking around. Look at those three boars right there. Always lovely. Ooh, someone's already putting down their first town center. The Mayans, our enemy, are putting down their first town center. Mm, it's a tough spot. Yeah, he has some wood here. He has a hill here for defense. He has stone a little bit further up. And he has some swordfish. But that's a really rough spot to put a town center in. Um, at least I would say. Looks like uh, Jinzo the Goth is already putting down his. He has a, it looks like he has a really strong start here. He has bushes here, trees here, and a lot of hunting opportunities. So really good on him for doing that. So I put my town center down here. I am feeling super cocky. Gold right here, stone, wood, and a little bit of food. So I, 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 I feel like I'm going to struggle. I have my dock. Uh, so I'm always rocking out with my dock out. Uh, and I have a little hill here, so I can probably use that for defense. But I'm planning to hunt a little and go right into farming. Uh, pretty much fishing boats and farming. That's my strategy here. Frank's one of our enemies. He already has his town center down here. He's kind of close to me. Uh, he has a, he has kind of a pretty good start. He has a sheep around him, wood. There's a little bit of gold not too far away from him. And he has boars. Like, boars can really make the difference uh, because they give you a ton of food. Uh, looks like his ally is kind of close to him right there. Already mining gold, so... That always worries me. If someone's mining gold in the Dark Ages, that might mean a rush. Uh, my other ally, Revorg, uh, he is putting down his sound center. This looks like a great location too, actually. So he has gold right here, hunting opportunities, food right there. This actually looks like a standard map starting position. That's why I like that. Oh, there's already... Oh, look. Persians, they were trying to... They were trying to build right next to me. And I could not allow that. So you already start to see some action here. Ooh, he killed one of my villagers. But what he doesn't realize is I almost have my town center up and he's still trying to build his. So I'm really slowing him down. And all I have to do is kill him. Or just get him not to put his town center up. That's actually, that's, that's my goal. I don't really care if he, he's alive or not. And see, I can already rebuild. I'm already building my villagers, so. Persians, that was a mistake starting off next to me. I don't know if you saw that I was there or not, but, you know, you win some, you lose some, and you lost this one, buddy. So it looks like the Chinese are right here. That's pretty good. This is a really strong start, though. He doesn't have, well, he has some resources. It's kind of close, but he does have a lot of food and a lot of wood. But the problem is going to be building up. He's going to have to really expand out, or he's going to get trapped in there, which has happened to me. It happens to all of us, you know. Uh, you, you think you have a good spot there, but um, you, you want to spend a little bit of time searching. Uh, he probably could have built here. Oh, just a little bit further north up. Look at that. That would have been perfect right there. Bushes right there. Gold right there. Wood right there. And, of course, the salacious, succulous boar. Franks, what are you doing? Wasting that food. 69. I like it. Oh, he must have since he destroyed his town center. He probably doesn't have enough resources to start. Uh, so he had to get wood. I mean, there was nothing else he could do. It's a very, very slow start for him, unfortunate. But very fortunate for me. I mean, I'm not complaining. Chinese, uh, he needs more people on wood if he's going to try to expand out. That's what I would have done. I would have tried to get more people on wood chopping here and then yeah have people fishing but he has three out of villagers one two three i guess they're watching the little fish there jump up i would too i mean you never see what is that like a a marin marlin i think it's a marlin oh look at that mayan interesting strategy he's already starting to wall up uh looks like he knows we are on his southern border maybe he's seen me uh so he is going to build, I assume he's going to chain these houses here to keep me out. <clears throat> we'll see if that works. Oh, looks like the Turks are doing the same. Oh, I almost ignored the Turks. They kind of blend in. I thought they were stone. But yeah, this is our other ally, the Turks. Uh, and he has a pretty strong start. He looks like he went right into farming. Uh, maybe he's going to go up uh, pretty quick. 
Uh, he didn't have that much food around him. There wasn't a lot to hunt. Uh, oh, and he's already going, getting gold. Okay. So he might be trying to do a, uh, a rush. Not bad. Well, he's doing gold and stone. So he has a little bit of a mixed economy here. Very interesting. Wow, Frank's already has a barracks out. Wow, that is... That can be danger. That can be dangerous. Uh, I think Jinzo's noticed that. I think he's going to start building his houses here to kind of wall himself in. But look at that. The Franks. Franks, you got to be careful with the French. Or else Charles Martel, he'll get you. Oh, wow. Whoa, so we have our first person in the feudal age, and that is the Franks. Uh, so he went up with 121 wood, 379 food, 100 gold, and 200 stone. He only has 14 villagers. Not a strong economy. That that might hurt him in the long run. Uh, Jinzo is getting swordfish. They do say the best way to get swordfish is with villagers. You don't want your fishing boats getting the swordfish. Oh no, we got a disconnect and it's our allies, the Persians, that I forgot. They probably realized that I um, I forgot about them in this, in this replay and they got mad and left. But look at that, he had a strong economy and everything. He was cranking out those villagers. That, that was a blow. Seeing our enemies get to feudal first and then having <laughs> he was in first place having our strongest ally disconnect oh man i don't know that was that was that was a big blow uh chinese again they're kind of trapped in they're not really doing anything i don't know why he's not moving his villagers that's very strange uh my ally reborg he is fishing building up his economy our other ally, Jinzo, he just got the feudal, so that's good. Has a couple idle villagers there, but he's doing all right. Oh, Reborg just got to feudal too. Whoa. I'm feeling left behind. Like I wasn't part of the rapture or something. So here's what I did. I, I really tried to use resources to my advantage and build a little wall here. Uh, even though my ally is to the right of me, I didn't realize that the Mayans were uh, to the north of me. Because I'm kind of, I'm closer to the middle of the map. Uh, but I do have a lot of... Uh, Lumberjacks. The problem is I probably shouldn't have gone for that. I probably should have taken the wood down here. But again, I didn't realize that uh, my enemy was above me and not really below me. Because this would have been great to put a line of houses right here. But you know, uh, that's what I do. I always try to uh, make, <laughs> make life much more difficult than it needs to be. So Mayans who are right above me. I just got into feudal age. Looks like the Persians decided to build right next to his ally because... After his rough start, you know, can you blame him? Like, that was crazy. This is concerning. This is really concerning. Franks already have their cal their stable right here. All they need to do is get to castle, start cranking out those knights, and that is... That might be game over for Jinzo. You know, he's a good guy, but... Oh, look at that! He's building a little wall of houses right there. I think he knows what's happening. Oh, the Mayans building a tower right here, and I don't see it. And on a hill! Oh, no! That's not good. No bueno. Revorg seems to have expanded. He has some villagers out here. Wow, look at that. He is taking control of the eastern portion of the map. So he has his town center here. He has a, seems like he has a really good economy. I finally made it to the feudal age. Um, and he's built out. That's really smart. Really, exp I, I think. Really making uh, land claims. And building little towers just to see what's out here. How does it look like from his view? Let's see. You can actually see almost everything in his land. Oh, that's great. That's how you should play the game. I like that. Well, let's go back. And he's building houses. Oh, he's building houses so that it makes it harder for me to attack this tower. That's why he's doing it. Oh, no. He sent a man at arms right to me. Not looking good for me. I will give it to the Mayans. But they're doing a good job of building out. They're building forward. Uh, he has his towers out. Uh, he's really putting a lot of pressure on me. He's really attacking me. He's constantly cranking out those uh, man-at-arms. And that is really distracting me. Luckily, my ally, Revork, he's come up here. He's building. He's trying to build a tower right there. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, no. The Franks just made it to castle. Oh, luckily, Jinzo just did, too. He's putting out barracks. He knows what's coming. He's going to try to get those spearmen slash bikemen out. This is starting to get crazy, my friends. Look at that, those man-at-arms, those bastards. 
I was able to get uh, a tower out. Unfortunately, my ally wasn't. I'm starting to build towers all over my base now. And I'm trying to build them strategically, so that way they can help each other out. Uh, because while man-at-arms can wreck your economy, they're still relatively weak. Look at that. They, they go down pretty easily. Unlike her. Oh, wow. Look at the Franks. Oh, and their knights. And he's already got a couple upgrades on them. This is... This is gonna be crazy. Or is it? That's a unusual strategy. So as the gods, our Jinzo decided to get uh, militia instead of pikes. Maybe he built those earlier and I missed that. So the gods, they're building a castle right here, right on a hill. This is gonna be really good. If he can survive this raid. Look at those Frankish knights. Quite frankly, I am not fond of them. <laughs> oh no, why is he building militia? Why isn't he building spearmen? Those would easily take them out. I don't I don't understand. Okay, now he's getting them out. Now he's trying to crank them out. He's trying to get he's really trying to get that castle out. But he's gotta be careful because even if he gets that out, he doesn't have I d I don't think he has murder holes. I don't see it. Um Oh wow, he already has three town centers? Man, Jinzo's booming. But the Franks, they are not stopping. They're already putting the pressure on him with a siege on her. The siege on her, of course, is to try to stop those spearmen. Uh, that's what I imagine. I'm trying to get this castle down. This is getting bloody here. Oh man, this this hill. I'm trying to defend with archers. Uh, to try to get the range because he was building a lot of infantry. Now he's got a siege workshop. This is going to be tough. Luckily, Revorg has time to build uh, his economy. He's not feeling a lot of pressure. The Chinese, of course, are staring off to the ocean. So that's always good. And the Persians are starting to build up. Like, don't discount them yet. Like, it's a slow start. But remember, that is another person. Once he starts getting up, it's going to be really rough. It's going to be really rough for us. Those knights are still attacking it. Yeah, like I said, I don't think he has murder holes. Uh, so I think he's taking the time to build uh, pikemen. Let's see how they fare. Okay, here we go. He's trying to get the cast. Oh, that's really smart. He's luring the the knights out. The knights out. Look at that. And then the castle can attack. And that is a very smart strategy. And that's what you need to do. You need to you need to do those little efficiencies uh, in order to survive, especially to survive a rush like this. Oh wow, the Mayans have built a navy, so this is going to be tough. Revorg had a lot of fishing ships out here, uh, and the Mayans are going to try to stop my ally from helping me. If he can, just, if he can cripple Revorg, uh, that's pretty much it for me. Like it's going to be really hard because he's been tributing resources to me so that I can survive. And I, I guess my strategy here is to build um, knights as the British because he has he's been using. Uh, archery units. Oh, uh, looks like Jinzo's trying to push forward with his own siege workshop. Will that work though? And he already has a husk roll. Uh, out. So these are deadly. I mean, look at that. Seven, there's six plus one pierce armor. Especially the castle age. He starts massing those up. Very hard to counter. Uh, unless you go siege. Uh, yeah, those are hard to counter. Siege or actual infantry. Like if you were to get longswordsmen out, but this is well. The Franks have their castles out, and remember, uh, the French do have cheaper castles. So if he can start spamming those, but again, it doesn't do as much damage to Huskar. Oh man, looks like Jinzo is turning the tide of this. He is starting to push out. So about 30 minutes into the game, the Chinese have. 940 food, 350, oh no, 940 wood, 350 food, 100 gold, 599 stone, and 6 villagers. Don't count them out yet. That's all I'm saying. So here we go. Finally, uh, the Mayans decide to push forward. They are attacking the Shardis and Siege. They do have a battering ram. Uh, it has taken a lot of damage, though. Uh, but they have a, a, a good combined force. They have some long swordsmen. They have some archers. But they do lack spearmen. And I've built one knight. So we'll see how this goes. I do have a few archers, though. I do have a few longbowmen. 
and with all these towers around me, it's gonna be tough for those skirmishers. Look at them, they broke ranks and fled. <laughs> Unfortunate. But I was able to hold off that raid, and I am doubling down on my longbowmen. Look at that. I'm going to line them up here. Really try to get them in the zone of defense right there. My ally, Reborg, has mangonels. So that's going to be good. Again, if he tries to send those trash units, just boom, flatten them out. Frank's got another castle up, but so did the Goths. Uh, the Frankish economy is going to suffer it, because these are his only two town centers. He's focused heavily now on fishing for food. That's going to help him for now, but in the long run, he's got to come up with an alternative. My hands are taking the gold here. So it looks like they're trying to get another powerful uh, attack towards me. Building more siege. Reward is trying to destroy their defenses. Sending one lone battering ram. That is a, a risky, risky move, but it might pay off. I mean, this tower is almost dead. He gets a few rams in there and it's gone. If I can hide with my longwoman and just send out my knights when necessary, I might be able to hold them off and then finally launch a counter-offensive. Mayans don't like that one bit. They're trying to build their castle here, but I won't let them. Put my longbowman forward. Ooh, and he brings out his skirmishers. This is like a balanced fight. Look at that. I'm just trying to make sure they don't build this castle here because that's going to uh, it's gonna make things even harder. He's going to take me up Ship Creek without a paddle. There we go. There we go. Reborg has his mango nails right there. I like it. I did kill his villagers, so I'm happy about that. Now, he has a priest stem, so he didn't try to convert me. France is on fire. It looks like Jinzo was able to take that down. Looks like he's been putting out battering rams. Not only battering rams, but they have units in them, making them even more effective. His Husserls are attacking. He's tearing down those... Oh, man, those, those Frankish defenses. This is nuts. I'm telling you, once once Jinzo's able to move forward, he just keeps pushing, and once he breaks through, oh, you're gone. Look at that. I already took down one of his town centers. This is rough. I think this is. I think we're almost at the point of no return for the French, unless he runs and rebuilds somewhere else. I mean, no one's in the southern portion of the map. There's literally no one here, except for the Chinese. The Chinese. God bless them. Look at them. Still chopping at that wood. Ooh, and the Mayans did get that castle up after all. After all my efforts. Uh, and. I built another city here, not realizing that the Mayans had a town center here. Uh, and so I think what I did was, if you don't know, you can actually delete your allies' buildings if they disconnect. Oh, looks like Jinzo is the first to the Imperial Age. And he made it to the Imperial Age with 255 wood, 781 food, 605 gold, and 2,223 stone with a population of 128. So he was clearly cranking out units, really went into stone because he was trying to get those castles up, and now he's just mopping up France. It looks like the Huns, oh, I'm sorry, the Goths, they're just mopping up France, and they're going to start putting their focus on, ooh, look at that, on the Mayans. Or he's probably going to try to go there. I didn't even notice, but mine's got a castle out here uh, real quick. He's going to take out my villagers. I was harassing him with my longbowmen, of course. I did. Oh, uh, looks like the Mayans gave up. Once once he saw that siege attacking him and he saw the house for the Husperals, he was like, no. No, 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 I'm not going to have any of that. Oh, man. And the Persians gave up. But the question is, would the Chinese give up? I don't know. This might be a Cinderella story yet. Uh, the Franks. Oh, the Franks have rebuilt. I was wondering about them. I was like, I haven't seen them anywhere. So they are trying to rebuild. And that's good. I like that. Don't give up. 
that's the message here. Don't give up. Always rebuild. I mean, everyone will hate you for it. Because everyone will just be like, oh, just quit. But don't. You got to keep going. I will say I do admire the, uh, the Chinese Marlin strategy. Uh, it's kept them in the game <laughs> just as long as the, fr uh, as the French. Ooh, this might be game for the French. I finally have my Cavaliers and... Is this Elite Longbowman? No, it's a regular Longbowman. I like this combo. French are not giving up. Look at that. Look, and we don't realize this yet. Look at that. Oh. oh, that's how you do it. Rework has found the Chinese. He is disgusted with this strategy. He ends up slaughtering all those villagers. Ruthless is what, it's, is what he is. Ruthless. The Chinese, after surviving this long with their Marlin strategy, are finally taken out. A moment of silence. It's up to us to see if we can find the French. We're looking all over the map. And we're almost dumbfounded because we don't find a city. And slowly it's going to hit us. Uh-oh. It's not that he has a city. It's that he has a boat. Reborg has his ships out, and he sees it. He sees the golden egg right there. Can he avoid him? Can he survive? Can he prolong this game any longer? No! Well played, French. Well played indeed. So let's look at those stats. So we're all here for. This was a long game, but a good game. As we see here, Jinzo dominated with his battle with the Franks. It was up and down, up and down, but that caused him to become a much, much stronger player. Uh, coming in second was, of course, Revorg, especially with that Navy and that finishing blow right there. A uh, third, just because I survived. Um, but that was tough with the Mayans. They did a really good job. Look at that, Jinzo, 73 killed. I mean, he, he was fighting from the beginning. Oh, wow, actually, they made it. The Franks were kicking it. Like, they were killing it. First the feudal, first the castle. Jinzo was the first one to make it to Imperial, but that was that was nuts. That was a really, really good game. Hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.